the swing of emotions that you guys go through from you know, winning a rivalry game and then getting ready for a conference championship and then you know, losing the guy who sort of stepped up for it. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know if it's a swing of emotions more as it is a two-sided emotion. You know, you're, you're really, really happy for this team. You're happy for uh, what we've accomplished in the regular season. You're happy to beat our rival at home, get a third pair of gold pants. Um, but at the same time, your, your heart goes out to JT because he's uh, not only meant so much to this team, but this team has meant so much to him and his growth as a, as a young man. So uh, we'll, we'll keep him involved as much as we can and, and uh, move forward. You know, we, we had a guy, uh, you know, to, to put it in uh, battlefield terms, we, we had a guy, rifle went down, we, somebody's got to pick it up and keep fighting. You've done this before. I mean, yeah, twice in one year, though. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't have asked for that, yeah. uh, certainly. But uh, you know, this this game is very crazy at times and throws you a lot of curveballs, and you got to be able to adapt and adjust. And I'm, I'm sure we will be able to do that. How, how do you think Cardell reacted when he uh, when he got in? Oh, uh, great mentally. You know, he, he missed the, the the one pass to Mike Thomas, but right. mentally he was he was very in tune. You know, he, he keeps a headset on the entire game, so he's in tune to everything we're talking about. He you know, is very engaged in, in everything that goes on in terms of uh, in between series adjustments, in terms of halftime adjustments. So he was ready to go. I mean, his he did not have a deer in the headlights, at least sound. And from from what I understand on the sideline, he was he, his attitude was great. Tom, what's your sense you. for how ready Cardale is for what is going to be the biggest stage you guys play on this year? Uh, you know, you have worked on this already before. How ready do you think he is for a challenge like that? Oh, he's not ready today, but he will be Saturday. Tom, why are you so confident that you can win a conference championship game with your third team quarterback? Because uh, we got a really good team around him. Uh, you know, the, the, nowhere more evidenced uh, in terms of the fact that the quarterback doesn't have to win games for us anymore. The quarterback has to manage games, distribute the football, and, and lead. Uh, and, you know, and we, we've seen that throughout this season. So, uh, as long as he's mentally prepared and, and uh, you know, he's got a ton of physical to tools and he's grown up a lot over his career here. And so, I, I have nothing but the, the utmost confidence that, that he can get the job done because of what we've got around him. The fourth and one call, the fourth and one call there with uh, uh, Ezekiel just kind of take us through that timeout and the discussion. Urban looked like he was dying a thousand deaths <laughs> during the timeout. Yeah, it was. Uh, simple inside zone that the offensive line did a hell of a job blocking we, we felt like we could do it you know we, we had been blocking them I think we averaged six yards of carry against the defense that was uh, statistically I think only giving up 105 or 110 yards a game you know we were, we were moving the ball pretty decently on them in the second half and uh, you know coach Meyer looked coach Warner in the eye and said can we get this done and he looked looked him right back and said yes we can and then he said he said Tom give me a call and I said Okay, here we go. You want right behind your best, though. You want behind Taylor and Pat for a reason. Uh, well, Pat's a right guard and Taylor's a left tackle, so they're they're a little bit different. But uh, yeah, Pat had a, a really good block there, and, and uh, Taylor did a good job kicking his guy out. And, you know, every, everybody did a really good job on that play. You talk about weapons. The threat of having Jalen, especially in that Wildcat, that another thing. I guess we possibly could see a little bit more of next week. Uh, yeah, it is. You you don't want to get too reliant on that because you know you, you got to be able to throw the football a little bit out of that. And the, the good thing is Jalen can throw the football. Uh, you're not going to ask him to do it 30 times in a game, but enough to keep people honest. So you know I, I think we've seen that role kind of expand as the, as the season has progressed, and I don't see any reason why it shouldn't this week.